In this video, we provide 10 helpful EdgeWong tips and we take a look at some often overlooked features that allow you to use your EdgeWong trading journal more efficiently. First, let's take a look at managing your trading journals and in EdgeWong you can track multiple trading accounts in separate journals. To access your journal overview, you click here on the top right button and that brings you a list of your current active and used trading journals. By clicking on the Add Journal button, you can create new trading journals for new trading accounts. You can also easily duplicate an existing trading journal. If you have set up one of your trading journals very nicely and you want to reuse the settings, you can do that by clicking on the Copy Journal button. Then you just type in a new name for the new journal you want to create and then you can choose which parameters and settings you want to copy to the new journal. If you want to create an empty trading journal and only duplicate the setups into the new trading journal, you simply untick all of those boxes and only keep the setups, instruments, trade comments and the custom comments. Next, let's talk about importing trades. In Edgewonk, you can either manually add your trades or you can bulk import all of the trades from your trading platform. For that, click on the right side of this Add New Trade button and this will bring up the Import Trade pop-up. The first drop-down allows you to search for all of our supported trading platforms. After you've selected the platform that you want to use, you can click on this blue link here which will then open our FAQ and this will walk you through the steps that you need to take in order to get the right statement for Edgewonk. After you have the right statement from your broker platform, you can simply drag and drop the file into this box or click on the click here button and then navigate through the explorer window to the file that you want to import. All of the trades will be imported within seconds. Edgewonk has a large filter set that allows you to drill deep inside your trading performance and only look at very specific individual parts and aspects of your trading. The filters can be found here and we divided them into basic and advanced filters. You can filter for specific instruments, the setups that you're using, for reward to risk ratios, for the outcome of your trade, is it a winning, losing or break even trade, you can filter for long or short setups, you can filter for a specific amount of your last trades, you can filter your trading performance for the different months, for days, the years, hour of the day. You can look at trades based on the percentage return they generated. And you can even use our date range filter, which is fairly new. Once you've applied a filter, you can see that it comes up here under selected filters. You can apply the filters to all of the features and all of the tabs in Edgewonk. Now the filter is applied to the home tab. But if we go to our equity graph, for example, the filter is still applied here. And as you navigate through the Edgewong trading journal, the filter stays applied and you can look at your trading data very specifically. To remove the filter, we just simply open up our filter bar again, click on clear all, and now you'll see all of your trading data. Under advanced filter, you see your entry, exit and trade management comments and also our custom statistics. Next, let's talk about customizing your trading journal. For that, we can go to our settings. Edgewong works for all markets and for all currencies. Here you can change the currency that you're trading in your trading account. We support all currencies worldwide. And here on the markets, you can choose which markets you are tracking and trading in your trading journal. You can also make multiple selections here if you're trading a multi-asset trading account. Under setups, you can add the different trading strategies that you're using and trading. And then later, when you are in your trading journal, you can tag your different trades based on the strategy that the trade was based on. We will come back to this in a moment. You can also create different trade comments so you can describe your trading actions on the entry, on your trade exit and also on your trade management. For the trade comments, you can even give your entry and your comment a rating. Thus, the entry describe a positive, a negative or a neutral trading behavior. This will unlock features such as the tilt meter and the efficiency analysis in Edgewonk. With the custom statistics, you can track pretty much anything that you can think of. We have slots for up to 20 custom statistics and in each custom statistic you can create multiple trading tags. You can then later apply them to the trades that you are tracking and then analyze them using the different Edgewonk features to analyze the different components of your trading and see how different parameters and patterns impact your trading performance. Let's take a look at the menu at the top right here. Here we'll find some very important menu points. You can access your profile, we have the milestones here, which is a gamification feature in Edgewonk. You find the link to our journaling course, which will walk you step by step through the Edgewonk trading journal. We have the change log, which shows you our update history. You can request a journal review where we take a deep dive into your trading journal. We provide a detailed performance analysis and then help you craft a plan and a strategy on how to move forward with your trading. 
you also find a link to our documentation and our FAQ where we provide detailed help on all the features in Edgewonk. Now let's come to the journal. When you have trades with multiple entries and exits, you can easily capture that in Edgewonk as well. We open the trade and then you will see next to the trade entry price and the trade exit price, you see those plus icons. Once you click on them, this brings our scale in and out feature. First, we have selected the entries and you can switch to the exits as well. If you have multiple entries on a trade, you can just simply click on add entry and then you enter the second entry price and the second quantity for the next entry. And you can do the same for the exits. The open quantity is very helpful because it shows you if the trade is fully closed or if the trade is still running and you have some open quantity. Only when the open quantity is set to zero, you will be able to close the trade and it will show up as a realized closed trade in your Edgewonk journal. In the journal tab, you have a few helpful features as well. When we tick the box here, you will see that now you can duplicate the trade. You'll be asked if you really want to duplicate the trade. And now you can see we have two trades that have the same characteristics and features. When you select two trades that have the same instrument, the same direction and the same setup, you can now merge those trades. Let's merge them and see what happens. Now we have one trade and if we open this trade under scaled in and out, you will see that now you have two entries and two exits. And because we first duplicated one of those trades, they have the same entry and exit prices. We can remove that once again. And then once we save it, we have one trade as in the beginning. Some components of your trades you can quickly manage and edit on the fly. If you click for example on the instrument, you will see this menu come up and then you will see all of the instruments that you have taken and entered in your trading journal. If you want to change that, for example, you can just do it and it has been changed in Edgewonk now. The same is true for the setup. And when we scroll a little bit to the right, you can see you can also do this for the trade entry, the trade exit and the trade management. So if you want to quickly make adjustments using the drop down menu can be very helpful. If you want to highlight a specific trade, maybe for a later review or because it stands out, you can use the star icon here. And we also have a filter here under basic and you can use the start trade filter to only look at the trades that you have started previously. Opening the columns menu will show you all of the available comments in your Edgewonk trading journal. You can deactivate columns and you can also add new columns. You can also change the order around by dragging and dropping the columns here in this menu. Now let's go to our graphs. Most of our graphs show you those additional menus. The first drop down allows you to change the unit that the graph is showing you. And you can see you can switch between a lot of different options here to analyze your trading differently. In this case, we have a second drop down that allow you to overlay other components, other metrics to your charts. And when you go through your chart lab, you will see that a lot of our graphs have those additional drop downs that allow you to analyze your trading performance differently and more in depth using the drop downs. Another helpful feature is that you can hover over specific data points and first you will see a few more information on that trade. And if you click on this data point, it will bring up the specific trade that is behind this data point. So you can review specific data points and trades very easily as well. You can also make adjustments here, edit the trade, add screenshots for example. And then once you save it, it's all stored in your Edgewonk trading journal. And those are some of the most helpful tips that allow you to use your Edgewonk trading journal more effectively. And if you have any questions, just leave a YouTube comment below. We are very active in our YouTube comments and we are very happy to help you out.